This is Inside Tayside, I'm Anna Fletcher. The headlines. Staley Bridge eyesore to be transformed. New Ashton Temple plans get the go-ahead and rats come off the £1.5 million Guidebridge railway station improvements. First, our main story. Christmas has come early for local charity Ruben's Retreat, which is set to benefit from sales of this year's X Factor single. The song Something I Need, performed by winner Ben Haynow, is tipped to be the festive number one, with all profits raised from its sale going to different charities, including Ruben's Retreat. Founder of the charity, Nicola Graham, who's from Mottram, said she was delighted and excited about the single. Building work on the retreat starts in the new year. Plans to build a temple and community centre in Ashton have been approved by Tameside Council planning bosses, but the decision did not come without controversy. The new centre will be built on the former site of Hearst Methodist School just off Lees Road, but there were heated exchanges at Tameside Council's offices following a lengthy debate at the last planning meeting of the year. Local residents complained about a lack of car parking, but the application was unanimously approved. Guybridge train station has been officially opened following a £1.5 million renovation. The Minister for Transport, Baroness Kramer, officially opened the Audenshaw station following recent work which gave the Guide Lane station a new ticket office, improved car park and saw the installation of CCTV cameras. A police station that has been derelict for nearly 10 years is set to be regenerated and sold as apartments. Tameside Council planning bosses gave their unanimous approval for the former Staleybridge police post to be turned into 18 flats. Glossop's least loved landmark is set to be demolished. The 300 foot tall eyesore chimney is set to be replaced by 44 affordable homes. And finally, dozens of Santas took part in this year's Stamford Park Santa Stroll in Ashton, all in memory of Alex Williams. Funds raised will go to charities Tameside for Good and the Believe and Achieve Appeal. You can read about all these stories and more in this week's edition of the Tameside Reporter and Glossop Chronicle. That's the latest and I'm Anna Fletcher wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from everyone here at the Quest Media Network.